Hi, welcome to What's Up with DJ Now. Today we're having an unboxing review of the Zule Milk Frother. And let's go ahead and get started. Um, if you would subscribe to my channel and hit like on the video, I would appreciate it. Um, I wanted to buy this little um, Zule electric milk frother. Um, so I thought, why not do a quick little video on it and show you what it looks like uh, coming out of the box and what it can do. Just a little uh, fun kitchen gadget um, that you can have in the kitchen, especially if you like um, you know, cold brew coffees or lattes, cappuccinos, you know, any of those type of drinks. Um, so let's go ahead and open it and have a look. And I just got this on Amazon. It was about $15. I'll link it in the video description if you're interested. It comes in different colors, but I like to just get the basic black for a lot of my kitchen stuff so it matches. But they did have um, a whole assortment of colors, a rainbow of colors. So you got a little book in there that says happy or not happy and what they'd like you to do depending on which one you are. <laughs> now this doesn't come with batteries, uh, so I have two batteries sitting there, which I bought on Amazon. I decided to try their batteries, their brand, because they're much cheaper and I thought why not try them out. So you're going to want to make sure and get you two batteries with it because it doesn't come with them. Now this one has the little stand that holds it when you're not using it, which is kind of cool. The milk frother is pretty cool. It gives standard drinks an upgrade, any kind of a standard drink you'd have. You can use them to do um, coffee art. Now I'm going to go ahead and open this and put in the batteries. But yeah, you can use them to, you know, do the latte art. You see on shows and stuff where they're like drawing the pictures on the top of the coffees and the lattes. That's kind of cool if you'd like to play around and do that. The things you can use the uh, milk frother for would be like coffee and tea drinks. Um, you could do, you know, pumpkin spice lattes. You, anything that you want to have like a milky kind of a froth on top or a cream, a heavy type cream. Matcha recipes, you know, is good. Um, there's a coffee recipe called Dal, Dal, I might be saying it wrong, but Dalgona recipe. Okay, now I'm showing you how it sounds and what it looks like. Now there was a plane <laughs> in my area, so if you heard like a kind of a plane sound in the background, that wasn't it. <laughs> and then now I'm using my cold brew coffee. Also, you can use these to whip up your scrambled eggs, and you can also make whipped cream with this little machine. So it's kind of handy to have in the kitchen. So anyhow, this is my cold brew coffee, which I use in my Primula cold brew maker, and I'll link that in the description as well. I might do a separate video on that so you can see. It's a really cool um, cold, brew, cold brew little coffee pot that you put in the fr refrigerator. Okay, so I've added my sugar. Now we're going to go ahead and froth up some uh, cream. I use the coffee mate. You can use regular milk, half and half heavy whipping cream, whatever type of milk type thing you like, but I already like this in my coffee as a cream, so I thought, why not froth it up and put it on top? That'll make it even better. You only need a little bit because it's going to double in size and maybe even triple, depending on how much you froth it. So just put a tiny bit because a tiny bit will go a long way. Okay, now you're gonna wanna just 
um, kind of move that around in the bottom. Now I did do this again after this video and I want to let you know that if you hold it in the bottom for a while first before you move it up and down, it frothed it up really fast. So I had already taped this and then I tried it again. So it works either way. <clears throat> Excuse me, either way. <clears throat> Excuse me, my voice. It works either way, but when you first put it in, if you just hold it along the bottom and don't move it up and down for a, for a few minutes, it really frothed up uh, much quicker. But then you are going to want to move it around so that you can aerate and bring the air into the milk, which is what froths it up and makes it into the foam. I can't wait to try all kinds of different coffee drinks. Um, it's a handy little thing to play around with. I'm going to use it when I scrambled up eggs too. I'm going to use it to make whipped cream to put like on top of pies or other desserts. So it's a pretty handy little device for only 15 bucks. And then we're just going to take this and we're just going to pour it on top of our coffee so we can have the cream top. And then here you go. See how it stays on the top, but you can see it drizzling down slowly into the coffee. If you get up close to it, you can see that. And so yeah, I want to thank you for watching my video. If you could like the video, I would appreciate it. And um, subscribe to my channel. But anyway, thanks for coming to watch and I appreciate your time. And you all have a great day. Thanks. Bye-bye.